Hello, I'm Diane Vanderwell, your Ward 2 City of Sparks Council Member. I'm here today in Ward 2 at the new Hug High School to share some exciting updates. The school is slated to be completed and ready for students in the fall of 2022. The City of Sparks approved road improvements to be made along Sullivan Lane, El Rancho Drive, and McCarran Boulevard, not only for the safety of the almost 2,200 students that will be attending the new high school, but also for the surrounding neighbors. These road improvements are scheduled to be completed in October of this year. I'd like to first introduce Adam Searcy with Washoe County School District to talk about the exciting progress on the new Hug High School. Hi, Adam. Hi, thanks. Thanks again, Diane. Uh, things are going great out here. As you can see, the building's coming into shape very quickly. They're building walls and finishes inside. As you mentioned, the, the offsite improvements are actively underway, and shortly we're going to begin landscaping, and you're going to see dozens of acres of sod and hundreds of trees being planted here before this winter. Adam, thank you for those construction updates, but can you also share what does this mean for this area? You know, in addition to the construction investment, we really feel like it's going to change lives. The students at Hug High School, of course, the students coming out of Sun Valley and Desert Skies Middle School and all across the community that will go to this school, also relief to overcrowding at Spanish Springs High School is really going to change the ex academic experience for thousands of kids every year. That's gonna have a ripple effect into the future. It's really an investment in our community that we're so proud to be a part of. Well, thank you. And we always appreciate the investment in our community. If you're interested in updates on the new Hug High School or any other information regarding the school district, you can find the information at washoschools.net. I'm up here now at Wild Creek Golf Course, and with me is Mike Mazzaferi with Maz Golf Management for the Wild Creek Golf Course. Mike, can you share some of the updates and the partnership with First Tee? Yeah, it's, um, we're, we're in the midst of it here, our, our summer season. We've got a six hole course in play and the par three course. We're redesigning the golf course, so eventually it's gonna be a, a, a nine hole regulation course, a par three course, and a driving range. And my company's so excited to work with the eventual owner will be First Tee and, and we'll operate it for First Tee and we're just really excited to work with the number one chapter in the First Tee chain and, and uh, all the things they do for golf. It's, it's a great deal. Thanks Mike and your entire team for the updates. Thank you Diane. Great and now I'm going to introduce Chris Stewart with First Tee to talk about the partnership with Wild Creek. Hi Diane. Hi Chris. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for coming and we would love to hear the updates about First Tee. Yeah so we're super excited to be um, actually uh, running the golf course or owning it and um, having Mike operate it for us. Uh, First Tee is in dire need of a home course. Um, we have over 2,000 kids in our program and with COVID and the spike of golf now in our community, um, First Tee really needs a home site. So can't wait to get this project started and um, give the kids a place to play. That's terrific and we are so happy to see that First Tee picked the City of Sparks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For more information about the program, go to firsttnorthernnevada.org. Be sure to keep an eye out on our website and social media channels for more info on all that's happening here in Sparks, or reach out to me anytime. Thanks for listening and have a great day.